It's time to get familiar with Thailand's capital city. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're presenting you with our traveler's guide to exploring Bangkok. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're highlighting some of the most interesting, vibrant, and exciting areas, neighborhoods, streets, parks, and markets to help you get the most out of your time in Bangkok and the surrounding area. Thesutsak Market Bangkok's famous weekend market is now considered a must-visit for anyone traveling to the city, be it for a layover or a longer stay. The single largest market in all of Thailand and the biggest weekend market in the entire world, Tatsutsak is home to some 15,000 booths divided into 27 sections, which cover a sprawling 27 acres of land. In operation since 1942, Tatsutsak Market takes its name from the surrounding neighborhood, and though it's become hugely popular with travelers, tourism has by no means ruined the atmosphere. It's estimated that only 30% of shoppers are foreigners. From antiques, handcrafts, and ceramics to furniture, clothing, and accessories, you can find just about everything here. And don't even get us started on the incredible dishes on offer from the food stalls. Khao San Road If you're backpacking your way through Southeast Asia, this is where you'll most likely wind up when you arrive in Bangkok. Located in the Bang Lampu area of Pranangkon District, it's centrally located, making it a great starting point for your daily explorations. And if you want to do any day trips elsewhere in Thailand, this is where most of the buses leave from due to the abundance of travel agents. As for the street itself, which is only about a quarter mile long, it is jam-packed with food vendor stalls, small shops, cafes, bars, tattoo shops, and more, ensuring that you'll never get bored, even when you decide to stay close to your hotel. As appealing as Khao San Road is, it's worth exploring the larger neighborhood in which it's located, Bang Lampu. Not far from Khao San, you'll find beautiful temples, museums, shrines, and other culturally significant attractions. Dam Nuan Satawak Floating Market Tsatsutsak holds the title of Thailand's biggest market, but as Dam Nuan Satawak Floating Market's popularity proves, size isn't everything. Though it's not in Bangkok proper, at just over 60 miles southwest of the city, in the Dam Nuan Satawak district of Ratburi province, it's an easy day trip, and one that is considered a must-visit to many. Bangkok has a long history of using its canals for commercial trade, with vendors loading up boats with wares to be sold along the river's edge or to passing customers. Today, the practice has become less central to local trade, and instead more of a novelty for tourists. As such, some visitors may be turned off by Damno and Satawak Floating Market, but we think it still makes for a unique experience, if not as authentic of one as it once was. If you can't get past the crowds at Damno and Satawak, consider checking out some of the smaller, lesser-known floating markets around Bangkok, so as not to miss out altogether. Lumpini Park Not equipped with sea legs? Don't worry about it, Bangkok has plenty to offer travelers who prefer to keep their feet firmly planted on dry land. As the most populated city in Thailand, by a long shot, and the most visited city in the world, Bangkok tends to get overcrowded, and those who are quick to feel claustrophobic might have a bit of a hard time. If you fit that description, or you simply enjoy a nice green space, Lumpini Park should definitely be added to your itinerary. Covering a 142-acre area of land, it's made up of walking paths, a few landmarks and community buildings, plus a picturesque artificial lake. Green space is in short supply within the city limits, which only makes Lumpini Park all the more special. Keep your eyes peeled for the local monitor lizards that live there. They are seriously impressive creatures. Yawarat Road and Chinatown Thailand undeniably has its own distinct national identity, cuisine, and rich cultural heritage. But it also bears the mark of significant Chinese influence, due in no small part to the sizable ethnic Chinese population that lives in Thailand, which is the largest Chinese community found anywhere in the world outside of China. And in Bangkok, they've established a Chinatown to match. The largest Chinatown anywhere in the world, it essentially covers the entirety of the Sampantawang district, and Yawarat Road is the central artery of the area. Both along Yawarat and throughout the neighborhood, you'll find incredible restaurants and food hawkers, bars, shops selling traditional Chinese wares, and a few high-profile temples. Rich in history and oozing with character, Yawarat Road and Chinatown should definitely factor into your schedule. Siam Paragon Who's ready for some shopping? Siam Paragon is among the largest malls in all of Thailand, let alone Bangkok. The city is perhaps better known for the bargains that can be found in the various markets scattered across the city, but those looking for a more upmarket shopping experience will find a lot to smile about at Siam Paragon. 
The massive mall covers 21 acres of land, and in addition to countless retail and department stores, the complex is also home to numerous restaurants, an exhibition hall, a multiplex, a hotel, a concert hall, and the world-renowned Sea Life Bangkok Ocean World Aquarium. So yeah, when you need a little break from the sun and heat, Siam Paragon is the place to practice retail therapy. Asiatic the Riverfront Of course, when it comes to shopping in Bangkok, who says you can't have the best of both worlds? Asiatic the Riverfront is an outdoor market, but one that's unlike any other in the city, in that it skews far more high-end, modern, and trendy. It's like a shopping mall providing all manner of upscale amenities and comforts one might want, while somehow managing to maintain that vibrant and exciting energy that people love so much about night markets. Home to roughly 40 restaurants, dozens of street food vendors, entertainment venues, and an impressive 1,500 boutiques, Asiatic is a great place to spend an evening, especially given that it overlooks the Chao Phraya River. Asiatic opens at 5 p.m. every day and can be reached by car or bus. But the most memorable approach is via the free cruise shuttle. Tonburi Located on the west bank of the Chao Phraya River, Tonburi doesn't appear on most tourist itineraries, unless they happen to be walking through on their way to Watarun, which is technically in the neighboring Bangkok Yai district. But to overlook Tonburi is to rob yourself of the sort of authentic Bangkok experience that people often struggle to find when passing through the city. The neighborhood briefly served as the country's capital in 1768, and though it's home to some temples, churches, and museums, it's largely lacking in major attractions. Translation, way fewer tourists and more opportunity to actually mingle with locals. That being said, you will absolutely want to check out the artist's house. This institution, housed in a 200-year-old wooden home, sits nestled on the edge of the canal and is among the last of its kind. The building is a sight unto itself, but the real reason to visit is the opportunity to watch a traditional Thai puppet show. Tung Lor. Have we saved the best for last? It depends on what sort of experience you're looking to have in Bangkok. Tung Lor is among the city's top contenders for the title of hippest neighborhood. There is good food to be found all across Bangkok, but the restaurant scene in Tung Lor is on the cutting edge, often crossing the cultural divide into other cuisines, Japanese in particular. That being said, there are still cheap eats aplenty to be had. And then there's the nightlife. Tung Lor is perhaps the single most trendy place to spend a night out in Bangkok. Whether you're looking to dance, party hard, or lean into a more cozy, artisanal cocktail type of evening, the area will oblige. Also, it probably goes without saying, but Tung Lor doesn't mess around when it comes to coffee. Home to artists, creators, and those always on the lookout for the next big thing, Tung Lor is definitely one of Bangkok's most exciting neighborhoods. Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.